Hey guys, it's Burnsy and today I'm going to be showing you guys a very simple and effective editing technique in Sony Vegas. Have you all ever wanted to slow-mo a certain part of a video, maybe like a triple or a no-scope, uh, so only find you can't slow it down as much as you want to in Sony Vegas? Well, you could use Twixter in Adobe After Effects, but this video is mainly for those who don't have After Effects and want a similar effect in Sony Vegas. Now, this will work in Vegas 8, 9 or 10, so you don't need to be running the latest version to use this technique since I'm running Vegas 9. And although Twixter is a lot better, uh, this is a viable option. Okay, so the very first thing I want to do is get a clip. I'll be using one of Jazz's clips. And go right click the video track, press properties, uh, uncheck maintain aspect ratio and disable resample make sure you always do that on HD clips that you're editing and uh, I'm going to do video effects now most people like to add a lot of color correction but for COD 4 it doesn't really need that much because although the, the graphics are kind of dull so I use a brightness and contrast and see so it makes it a lot better now if you want to just pause that and then watch in full screen you can see what the numbers are for that, how to get it. Now, another thing that you always want to do is go down to sharpen, reset to none, drag that on your video track. It just makes it a bit clearer and in the end you'll have a much better result. It'll look pretty good. Okay, so very next thing that we're going to do is find the part where you want to slow me down. Uh, should be it. Yep. Alright, so it's just after the shot, so about there. We'll use that, we'll split that. So just press S, or if you're using Vegas A, I think you got to press Control S on your keyboard, and that'll basically just split it. That helps a fair bit. And the next thing we're going to do is add some blur. So in your video effects, go to Radial Blur and the one that says pretty so pretty strong drag that down on the video track now hold on, I'll just move forward a little bit on the timeline alright now you want it to be blurring out not a heap but blur out the kill feed so 0 0.63.64 we'll just use that one for now um, another thing is find about uh, just before you get your first shot and see how when you put your cursor at the very start it comes up with a little it's like a quarter of a circle you should say fade offset now you pull that left click pull that across maybe a little bit more and basically when you play it'll just uh, fade in so it gives it a lot better of a look and then you start your clip uh, next thing that we're going to be doing is going to the blur of our second clip, the part that we want to slow down. Now what you do is drag that on again, but instead of blurring out the kill feed, we want to show the kill feed. So just grab that, left click the little thing in the middle of the square and go about where the kill feed is and buff up the strength to about 0 0.69, 0 0.9. That should be pretty good, I think. Okay, so another thing we want to do is we don't want to keep that there forever. Our slow mo. So we'll find after the kill feed disappears. Mm, we'll just do it there. Press S again. And then we'll go we'll delete the blur actually. So, click on a little green thing, that's your video effects, and we'll uncheck that. Okay. Now, move that across a bit. Now, normally, the way that you would make a clip longer is hold down control, and then see if you have your cursor at the end of the, uh, the clip. It comes up with that tiny little squiggly line. So, you hold down control, and then you can extend it out and that'll show you how far you can go now we want to see how long the actual clip is so we'll just play it and there alright you don't want your slow-mo going forever 
Uh, yeah, that'll do. So we'll split that on the timeline. Put that across. Now, if you zoom in a bit. Uh, now, go to your left layer. It should be selected the video layer and drag that down so it makes it bigger. This is a lot easier. Now, you want to go right click it and go insert remove envelope and velocity. So, right click, insert remove envelope velocity. And you get this funny looking green bar on your track. Now, the first one is at 100%, and then go like a tiny bit further and oh, hold on, double click. So, that'll set basically a keyframe, and you want to drop that right down a fair bit. We'll get it to oh, 31, 29, that'll do. Alright. Now, that, see how that affects the rest of the clip as well. So, halfway through your clip, that'll be slow, that'll be slow, that'll be slow. Alright, we'll double click about here, and we'll double click barely after it, and then drag that one up. So we'll drag that one up to about 60. And basically what that does is, uh, I'll try and preview it here. So we go slow, and then it will start to get quicker again and again. And our end velocity, we want that at about 93. And then this one will be back at 100. So hopefully this will work. Pull it across. And then that will be for how long. Depends how long your music track is. Music track is basically... But it's basically just to sync, so if you get a quad feed at the end or you get a triple, it just goes bang and then your music. So you can make that back up. Any last minute touches. Yeah, um, we'll add a different blur again, so we'll get pretty strong on the last clip. And, ooh, ooh that saves. <laughs> um, bring it down to maybe 59.09 or 0 0.5909 and we'll drag it down there so the kill feed is half blurred half not that looks alright I guess um, actually yeah we'll make it a tiny bit stronger alright now normally I would also now at the start we blurred in with our quarter of a circle. You can also do that at the end and you would pull that across. But this clip isn't long enough actually at the end to blur in our uh, blur out, sorry. So we won't worry about that. But other than that, I'm not gonna put music in because you guys will have your own preferences to music, you can use that. But this is basically just a quick tutorial on how I use the blur effect. Uh, slow motion effect, so it's like a Twixter plugin. It's not as good, obviously, but you can see you do the best that you can in Sony Vegas with what you got. And uh, yeah, that's the tutorial. So if you guys liked it, please give it a like. Um, this is probably one of my first videos where I've been talking actually, so I really want to grow as a YouTuber, and I need you know subscribers or people helping me out to do that. So just give it a thumbs up, maybe if you want. That would be greatly appreciated. I'd really, really love that. And uh, yeah, other than that, have a good day and I'll talk to you guys soon. Hey guys, so just a few quick things I left out. Um, the bits that you've slowed down, when you actually play it, it'll make a really awful sound. Like that, if that comes through. So what you want to do is right click the audio track, go properties and press lock to stretch. And only do this on the bits where you've slowed down, so that will end up sounding like... Gives it a bit more of a muffled sound, but overall it sounds a lot, lot better. Another thing is, uh, in my in the video, I also said um, blurring in. I was meant to say fade in, so sorry about that. Uh, where your arches are, so yeah, fade in, fade out. And this is actually the end result for what I used. Um, it's a lot different, you can see, because I got the audio track and faded in a bit, but it's overall the same thing pretty much, added my velocity, uh, the brightness and contrast, the blur, and all that. 
and I will have a link in the description and on the screen I'll just put it around here uh, that will be to the end result so you guys can check that out so other than that I'll see you guys later and have a good day